Hello everyone, welcome to the lecture series on PLC programming. In today's video, we're going to take a look at example number 7, which has the problem statement as given over here. At the first place, let us go through the problem first and uh, let us break this problem uh, parts by parts and from there we can uh, get started on how to draw the ladder diagram for these type of questions. So they've asked us to design a PLC program and prepare a typical input or output connection diagram and ladder logic program for the following motor control specifications. We'll be drawing ladder diagram alone. We're not going to focus on anything else apart from that. So they're giving us certain motor control specifications and uh, this problem is uh, quite related to the starting of the motors in the stations that are there. So uh, there are certain specifications and according to these specifications, we have to satisfy these conditions and then uh, our ladder logic will be right if we uh, satisfy all the conditions that are given over here. So they have given us four conditions. The first condition goes like this. Three starters are to be wired so that each starter is operated from its own start or stop push button station. So if you carefully read this statement and break this through, there are different meanings that can be taken out. There are three starters that are used. So uh, they are to be wired uh, so that each starter is operated from its own start or stop push button station. That means there are three stations and each station has a starter and uh, they are uh, operated through start and stop push button so each station has their own start or stop push button and there are three different starters which are located in three different stations so one point clearly summarizes the entire requirement over here the rest all are simple specification that can be easily followed so the second one is a master stop station is to be included that will trip out all the starters when pushed so if a particular station uh, starter is actually operating uh, if you press the master stop station button then entire process should come to an halt so we need this for safety purposes in case you want to shut down the entire unit so that is why this is used so this is one important observation the next point is overload relay contacts are to be programmed so that an overload on any one of the starters will automatically drop all of the starters so uh, usually overload relays are used for protection purposes isn't it so in case uh, the current or voltage level in a particular circuit during starting of motors because of interest currents it will be very high and uh, there is a necessity of having overload relay contacts and uh, they are to be programmed such that if any one of the starters will have very high value of current or voltage depending upon the requirement the overload relay should trip and consequently the starter that corresponding uh, to the starter should come to an halt so after that the fourth condition that is given is all push buttons are to be wired using one set of normally open contacts so that means uh, there should be at least one normally open contact in each of these stations so that is uh, what they're trying to say so we have uh, gone through the entire question part by part and uh, we know the requirements now. Once we know the requirements, I would suggest you to pause this video over here. Try to draw the ladder diagram on your own. And if you're not able to uh, do this or if you're going wrong, uh, definitely cross verify in case you don't get the problem done. So they are saying there are three stations. So each of them will have a start push button and a stop push button. Again, there is a station two which has start or stop push button switches. Always start push buttons will be given by normally open contact and stop by normally closed contact because normally closed contact will always be uh, short circuited when they are not energized. Once they are energized, uh, what happens? It will act as open circuit and it will stop the operation. And that is why stop push buttons are normally closed, start push buttons are normally open. So again, you have uh, start and stop push button for station three. So they have clearly stated that each of them have their own starters. So what we'll be doing is we'll be connecting them in parallel and each of them have their own starter, starter one, starter two, starter three. So they're connected to respective starters, isn't it? So once this is done, we need to add two more points over here. That is master stop station button. So we'll be having a master station button and we'll be having an overload relay contact. So these are normally closed contacts because only if you press this button, the entire operation should stop. So that is why we'll be using normally closed. So I hope this point is clear. Now we'll be connecting it to the input terminals in this particular fashion. So this is how you have to approach a ladder diagram, uh, read it part by part and go through the process. So once we have drawn the ladder diagram, we have to verify. How do we verify it? So just to uh, ensure that this is the right ladder diagram and to check how the uh, ladder diagram works with respect to the given question. Let us start off with starting the push button switch 
of station 1 in this particular fashion so if you carefully observe the green ones are always uh, in short circuit so that is why I have indicated here initially the uh, normally closer contacts will be closed and as a result it will be indicated in green current starts flowing and once they press the start push button it will also be in green color because it is short circuited current starts flowing through this path and consequently starter 1 of the station 1 will get energized in this particular fashion so we are energizing uh, the station 1 uh, starter 1 by pressing the start button now if i have to stop this if i press the stop push button of station 1 what happens the current stops uh, flowing through this path because it acts as open circuit uh, because it was initially closed circuit and once it is energized normally closed contact will act as open circuit consequently what happens the motor actually gets uh, the starter corresponding to the motor gets de-energized so starter 1 of station 1 gets de-energized so the starter comes to an halt if you press the start button the starter is starting if you press the stop button the starter corresponding to the station is stopping so our condition is satisfied so it's working for station 1 similarly the process repeats for station 2 is uh, press the start push button of station 2 it will get energized current starts flowing through this path and starter 2 also will be turned on so even if you press starter 1 uh, now starter 1 uh, corresponding to station uh, 1 will actually turn on so but I'm just trying it out with different scenarios so now station 2 starter is actually started now why are overload and master uh, contacts that are used over here and how do they operate so as I told you overload is for uh, tripping if there is any overload and master stop to uh, stop the entire operation let us say these two uh, takes place in the same simultaneous uh, fashion so if both of them uh, simultaneously are triggered and uh, both of them turns into red color that is uh, they're acting as open circuit now consequently what happens no current will be flowing through this path so if either one also is tripped consequently it will be open circuited so no current will flow just to demonstrate if both of them are actually tripped consequently no current will flow and what happens the starter that was energized there will be no current flowing through this path and consequently the motor corresponding to starter 2 will actually get de-energized and uh, there will be no current flowing through this path so in that way irrespective of whichever uh, starter is operating if you uh, trigger master or the overload relay if, if it trips consequently the entire operation will come to hard and halt so no starter will be operating at that point of time because they are connected through this path from here if the current flow stops here there is no chance of current flowing through this point isn't it so no none of the starters will be operating and that is why master and overload relays are actually used so in case uh, you want to stop the entire operation you can press the master push button if you want to uh, trip any of the uh, starter because of overload you can uh, use the overload contact so I hope this point is clear and you were able to analyze uh, the ladder diagram on your own. In case you have any questions, feel free to reach out by typing in your questions in the comment section below. If you like this video, please do like it, share it and subscribe to our channel for regular updates. Thanks for watching this video. Meet you guys in another example. Thank you.